mailman, and then there's the mailbox man. Bill Brammer reports on a Wasega Beach man who earns his living by making one-of-a-kind cedar mailboxes for homes and cottages. Wasaga Beach is a resort town on southern Georgian Bay. In the summer, thousands pack the streets, but the year-round population is growing. A family just moved into this home, and there's an interesting little mailbox at the side door. In the basement workshop, there are more of them, a blue cottage. One in the Spanish style with a tile roof and wrought iron in the window. And an Irish home with thatched roof and real stone. A brick home with the cedar shingle roof and an attractive English country home. The craftsman who makes them is John Bath. He cuts up cedar planks to build the frames, takes straw from brooms to create a thatched roof. That takes him about four hours in itself. Hot glue braids are put on, and inserting plexiglass windows in itself is a two-hour job. Bath's job of 29 years as a mechanical technician disappeared in downsizing, okay, and the mailboxes became a full-time business. John, to the best of your knowledge, you're the only one doing this. How did it all start? Well, I invented, designed, and packaged a children's word game and on the weekends, I would travel to craft shows in various parts of Ontario, and I sold 15,000 of these games. Then one day, my wife said to me, our mailbox is all pitted. Could you make one? And I said, well, I'll try. And that was three years ago, and I've been making them ever since. Beth has photos of some of the many mailboxes he's done, including those that were custom made. This is literally a cottage industry. John is on the move all the time, going to fairs and events, and these days neither sleet nor snow nor freezing rain will keep him from getting his mailboxes to their destination. Bill Brammer, Global News in Wasaga Beach. That's news at six for this.